Chris, and this is my MOC Mold King RC forklift video. So the last build was a complete disaster. I wanted that build to end. It was a piece of junk. I don't want to build any more of those creator styles for a while. So we're going to build a Technic style MOC. We've all seen the picture. I think this is the version two that uses the rechargeable battery box. So the instructions looking okay. This one actually shows us where the wires go and how to mark them. Your manual looking pretty good. We got about 315 steps. Very cool looking model so far. Now, Mold King has had the worst quality parts. Most of them are good, but they'll have some that are just molded crooked. So we're gonna check this out and see if they are all like this. This will be my second Mold King build. So I am just getting into these motors. So I don't know who makes what just yet. We are gonna be experimenting for the first time with the rechargeable battery pack. I'm very, very excited to be using this. I ordered some more of these. One thing I do appreciate from Mold King is they do label their bags for stage one. Everything seems to look just fine. I went ahead and put the tires on the wheels and judging by the size of the wheels and tires, looks like it's gonna be a pretty decent sized model. Now I got this for around $105 from AliExpress and this one came in about one week. And oh look, they gave me a free gift. So with this kit, you're gonna get four large motors one extra large rechargeable battery. And I guess they don't use the receivers on this style. Hopefully it all works out. But like I said, I'm just getting into the power functions. First time using this ever in my life. So we're gonna go ahead and get this charged up so I can play around with it. Okay, so this thing is actually really small and it seems very light for a battery. It's got your micro USB. And we're just gonna hook this up to where I charge my phone. First time ever using one of these controllers. Okay, so anytime you're messing with batteries, especially rechargeable, you need to check the voltage in case you hook this up and things just don't seem right. These are charged and the most I can get out of any of these rechargeable batteries is about 1.39 volts. And that's not enough to run the old fashioned battery box, but that is enough voltage for the remotes. So we should be good. Seriously, the world's crappiest screwdriver so as i get into these mocs i'm trying to find out is mold king one factory or is it many factories or is it just a name that they stick on here to help sell these because the green moc jeep i did was mold king and it did have some goofy parts on it and loose fits i didn't really talk about it too much so first inspection the parts look fine hopefully this build goes smooth let's get started all right, so a few hours in, I completed stage one. I'm taking my time on this build. This is what you want to spend your money on. This is the kind of set that you buy for a young kid that you might think is into this kind of stuff. This set right here is a no BS. Kevin Moo designed this. This is his version two of this forklift. And much, much respect to that man for taking the time and having the mind to come up with stuff like this because this is what I've been looking for this whole time, dealing with these MOC pieces of crap, computer design, bull crap models that just crumble apart as you build them. And then you put your hands on something like this that structurally is just a masterpiece. This is about as good as it gets in the MOC or Technic world, this is probably better or equal to a real Lego Technic set. So they actually show the wiring. We could just do a quick demo with the battery box just to make sure it works. It doesn't matter where we hook it up. We're just testing and we could test it out. And it's got two motors to move it front or back. I forgot what size motors those are. And I'm not sure what that motor does, but that's an extra large motor. As you can see, moving this axle over here. Very, very, very impressed with this. Stage two. Okay, so this is obviously my first RC build on YouTube. And I can tell you right now, I am enjoying this build so much. 
We got some new pieces I've never seen before. That always excites me. And now we're going to introduce some of these. I'm not sure what these are called yet, but they are just kind of like manual actuators that are driven by motors. I know what they do, but I don't know what they're called. Somebody let me know. So not very many parts for stage two. Let me go ahead and get this stage built and we'll talk about it when I'm done. So what I really like about this set is it is consider it. They want you to be successful in your build. After you complete a step like that, it's telling you to test it out and make sure they do what they're supposed to do. So we're about to enter stage three. Let's go ahead and see the parts we're gonna use for that. You can see how the model is looking so far. It has a little bit of weight to it, but forklifts are actually a lot heavier than they look. And you know it's a fun build whenever there's things that you're supposed to be doing, like me. I'm supposed to be working on my house right now. But the build is just so fun. It's so interesting. I just want to see what happens next. All right, so you see all the stuff for stage three. I think we're building the exterior of the forklift with some of it. Let me go ahead and get this built and we'll talk about it. All right, so we're about to begin stage four and i have to tell you this is one of those builds that you are going to fall in love with and you're going to want to just build on it the whole day until you're finished now the only thing i can say bad about this is the steering does not have a servo motor in case you're new and don't know that's what the servo motor looks like the turn as you can see with no servo it doesn't straighten itself up and this one can be very difficult to get back in line perfect it's pretty close right now and then these i'm guessing that's the tilt i'm not sure but very very cool and then to line these up you just run them in all the way and then get them out run it all the way in and then just loosen it up for the starting position because they'll get out of whack. So on this particular Mole King, I have not had any deformed or screwed up pieces. Just two of them that were a little bit loose, but no big deal. So you see what we got going on here for stage four. Let me go ahead and get it finished and we'll talk about it. All right, so I went ahead and built two stages. You can see how it's coming along. But once you start building on this cage and this, the fun just goes away and it starts to become where you're kind of like trying to rush through it. I hate building stuff like this so much. And this stuff is frustrating because it's just counting holes. That's all you're doing. You're making sure everything's in the right place. You're rechecking it. This kind of stuff, it doesn't always show you the correct alignment. So then you're sliding axles around and then you're trying to line stuff up. And it just, to me, is very frustrating. And you can see the rest of the build is pretty much that kind of stuff. This right here, oh my God, that just almost gives me a headache just looking at it. One thing that's goofy on it is look at the size of the seat. That's like a little child's baby seat. That seat really needs to be about twice the size. All right, well, everything checks out. Let me go ahead and finish building this and we will review it here shortly. So we're a new forklift driver. Our job is to take that toilet paper right there and put it on that shelf. Broken forklift. 
So I gotta hold it because it's a turd. See if it'll go up with no weight. You've seen it in action, brand new forklift. Look at this thing. Freaking piece of crap. So I was all excited and praising Kevin Moo, but after two or three minutes of playing with this thing, it's already failed right here in the reviews. You'll see these gears cracked. People saying that it broke right here same type of stuff that i'm dealing with so i'm not exaggerating i'm not being a little crybaby i'm just showing you what to expect if you buy this because you are going to have issues just like i am and like i said it's simply because that gear is too sloppy so hopefully in the future i will figure something out it's not going to be anytime soon i am going to start getting into the rc jeeps hopefully they are faster than this this is very slow but that's okay for a forklift i bought a bunch of rc models i bought a bunch of freaking motors we're going to be experimenting building my own vehicles i'm going to build one called the rammer which i'm going to start ramming these bullcrap mocs and just destroying them in videos just to let you know what's coming up on the channel. Just wanted to show you what you get for about $105. It's still totally worth it uh, for the two minutes of fun you'll get before it starts breaking. Hopefully yours does not do that. So in the comments, please don't make stuff up. Please don't lie. I'll just block you from the channel because I have noticed in this brick community, Lego community, people are just so full of crap. They just make stuff up. They act like they've owned all these sets. There are actually channels out there that review sets they've never put their hands on, they've never owned, and I am totally against that. Just to let you know this is a 100% honest channel at all times. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.